Welcome to the Arab American Cultural Center of Oregon's first spotlight segment and highlighting Arab American own businesses in Oregon. Ahlan wa sahlan. My name is Hala Goris and I'm a founding member and first president of ACO. Our guest today is Kevin Atiyah, co-owner of Atiyah Brothers, a family-owned award-winning rug and carpet business started here in Oregon in 1900. Welcome, Kevin. Thanks. Thanks for being here today. So, Kevin, the uh, Atiyah family is one of the oldest Arab American families in Oregon. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of your family? Our family is from Amar, Syria, and my great grandfather, who was George, came here around 1900 to Pennsylvania, and him and his brother Aziz came out to Oregon, where there was a interest in in Oriental rugs. So there weren't. A lot of vendors here in Portland around 1900, they came out here and established the Tia Brothers mm-hmm. right in the 1900s. And so we're, we're still around 122 years later. That's amazing. I understand you've got some family photos you can share with us uh, that tell the family history. I do. Aziz Atia came to the United States just before the turn of the century, what we understand from our, our records. And he originally started in Pennsylvania as a wholesaler of rugs. And as I mentioned before, they discovered there was an interest in a tiny town called Portland, Oregon. There was kind of an appetite for Oriental rugs and then he decided to have his brother, George, come over to the United States to help him set up that business. So George came around, I think, 1899, 1900. They established Tia Brothers in, in downtown Portland. And we've had many, many locations in the downtown area throughout the years. And then in 2001, we relocated out here to Tigard. And so these are the, uh, the brothers that started it all. And I'm very proud and honored to be the fourth generation Atiyah family member in the business. So one of the most famous Atiyahs in the U.S. is Governor Victor Atiyah. I knew him well. Uh, Governor Atiyah served Oregon. He was the first Arab American to be elected governor of any state. And how are you related to Governor Atiyah? I call him Uncle Vic, and <laughs> he is my great uncle. So over here, Edward Atiyah is my, is my grandfather, and his twin brother is Richard Atiyah. And their younger brother was was Victor Atia. And this was the second generation ownership of Atia Brothers. And Victor did work in the company for quite a few years before he got into politics. And kind of an interesting story is my grandfather and his brother Richard had to go fight in World War II. And Victor, because due to a football injury in high school, was not able to get drafted. And when his father, George Atia, passed away, he was essentially thrust into running the business at about 20 or 21 years old. And that's one of the memories I have of, of speaking with my great uncle is he was, he was very keen on just listening to people. And he's like, he was just He's, he said himself, he was just this young kid who didn't know anything, and he was working with people who'd been in this industry for years. And he said the most important thing I could do was just listen to them. And I think that carried him through all the way through to his political career and how he ran the state of Oregon. I think you're absolutely right. I remember many luncheons with Governor Victor Atia. It was an honor knowing him. Let's talk about your showroom, your rugs. Uh, we have behind us a beautiful oriental rug and to your left you have uh, additional rugs uh, what can you tell us in terms of what uh, atia brothers has to offer we really pride ourselves on really forming a long-term relationship with our customers and that goes to the tenure of our employees that have been here for so many years and, and decades for for many to the generations of family members that come and we're able to provide service for so we are a full service operation where we sell oriental rugs, fine hand oriental rugs, and uh, wall to wall carpeting as well as hard surfaces. But we also service what we sell, so we can we can clean and maintain that uh, as well to make it last generations. And we're really really pride ourselves on providing education and knowledge to people. Uh, a lot of people don't know, you know, how do I purchase a good oriental rug? So we're going to show them, you know, these are the things you're going to want to look at. You know, the rugs that we carry you know, have natural dyes, 
very finely woven pieces, good construction. We work with long time vendors that we have very good relationships with. So we know where the rugs are coming from. We get most of our rugs out of India and Afghanistan nowadays. And if taken care of properly, they can last generations. Okay, so can you show us one sample of a rug and we can talk about it? I think you have one to your left here. I do. This is a rug from Afghanistan. So it's just a good representation of a type of a rug that we sell here to Tia Brothers. Again, natural dyes, very finely woven. You're going to look at the, the handle of a rug, the edge finishes, the end finishes. Some come in one of a kind. Uh, the ones you can come in more program pieces, but a lot of people have the floral patterns or geometric patterns. Runs the course of what everybody's kind of looking for, and we can find something for you. Wonderful. So this rug right here mm -hmm. uh, has beautiful colors, and you're, uh, you've indicated that these are natural. Are these vegetable dyes? Yeah, but vegetable okay. dyes, and there's many rugs out there that are either over dyed, you know, synthetic dyes. They could cause color bleeding. They're not going to last as long. Um, these ones, you're going to be able to clean. We're going to be able to properly clean them for you, mm -hmm. uh, get all the soil out of them. They're going to last a long time. Kevin, when I came into your showroom here, one of your rugs really caught my eye. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the piece that uh, I was drawn to. What can you tell us about this? To so the best of our knowledge, it's it's around a turn, a turn of the century piece, around 1900. Um, so we consider it an antique rug, and mm -hmm. it's called a Cuba, made in the uh, Caucasus Mountain region. And very finely woven, natural dyes. You know, these, these rugs are few and far between now, now that it's, you know, we're getting about 122 years out. These are what Atiyah Brothers is known for, I would say, is just, you know, the, the, the traditional oriental style rugs. We do carry transitional and modern pieces as well. We try to have something for everybody, but we are really known for our traditional rugs that we carry. So this rug handles amazingly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know, I know very little about oriental rugs. I should know more. But to me, in terms of feeling this rug mm -hmm. and how easily it handles, what is, what is that referred to in terms of how... Well, easy I mean, it is to handle. We call, and, it, we call it the handle. I mm -hmm. mean, other rugs are oh. more full, full bodied. Other ones are, are thinner. It speaks to the yeah. design element, the weave. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean it's it's good or bad quality. There's there's many thicker rugs that are very good quality that we have here. It's just some rugs. I mean, it kind of gets in the technical aspect, but you know, warps mm -hmm. and depressed warps or. Um, you know, uh, warps and wefts and foundation and and wool, but. These ones, um, you know, a lot of times they're, they're made on looms that are just horizontal looms. You have nomadic tribes that are traveling around mm -hmm. and weaving where they, they set up and they'll move to another location. Other ones are more city pieces. So we carry a, a variety of different types of rugs here. Wonderful. I know from my own experience, I've gone to Atiyah Brothers at the division location and uh, taken rugs there for cleaning. Mm -hmm. And I watched the process and was fascinated. What can you tell us about the Atiyah Brothers cleaning process well cleaning cleaning is my first love that's where i kind of cut my teeth uh back in high school when i was working summers and we do have a five-step cleaning process that when uh, we can either pick up a rug at your home or somebody can bring it in for a discount mm -hmm. and we're doing a full inspection of your rug or rugs when they come in so we're looking at any spots or stains areas of concern uh that customers are telling us about the end finishes, the edge finishes, if there's any repair that's needed. You know, you get a lot of dog chews, vacuum poles, things like that that we can fix. And after the inspection process, we're going to send it through a dusting process. And the dusting process gets all the kind of the dust and particulates out of the rug, which is really important. You want to get that out before you go through the submerged washing process. You don't grind all that mm -hmm. soil into it. And then it goes through a submerged washing process where it's cleaning it all the way through to the foundation, to the back of the rug. Mm -hmm. It's really something you can't do at home um, where you can maybe clean the, fat, the top of the rug, but not all the way through. And then we have a dry room that dries it properly in the right amount of time. And then we bring it out for servicing. So we're trimming the fringe, we're vacuuming it, we're rolling it up, we're getting it ready to go back to the customer. At that time, if it needs uh, repair services, we can provide that. We also provide uh, written appraisals and padding as well. Wonderful. Um, so some folks want to try to do this at home in terms of home cleaning. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the issue with that if they were to do that with uh, 
an oriental rug or a valuable um, wool mm -hmm. rug? Well, you have potential bleeding issues and potential molar mildew issues or what, what you're up against and, and just really not, not getting all the soil out of the rug uh, as much as you can. Even on hot or rugged summer days, a lot of times it's not enough to get the rug dried in the proper amount of time. You can get wrinkling issues, things like that. You know, most people are going to throw the rug over the railing and just let it kind of drip, drip dry and you're going to pull it off, you know, in the next day and there's going to be wrinkles in it and that, that we'll, be, we'll be able to fix, you know, hopefully for them through a, through a sizing process. But it's really worth your time and money to bring into professional rug cleaner and we can do the rest for you. Understood. Um, so in addition to these beautiful oriental rugs, mm -hmm. you have um, more modern pieces that I'm looking at throughout the showroom. Can you talk to us about that? Well, we really transitioned in the last several years to offering not just um, traditional oriental style rugs, mm -hmm. but transitional and modern pieces as well. So we have a little bit of everything and we encourage people to come in uh, and take a look at what we have we can bring rugs to your home as well. So that's really a really important step to, uh, where you can see it in your home. Nice. Yeah. And because uh, depending on lighting, things like that, rugs can look different in different mm -hmm. spaces. So we really want people to feel comfortable about their purchase before they decide for sure. And uh, we also offer wall to wall carpeting. A lot of people don't know that, but we also we offer wall to wall carpeting, full installation services. We come out and do free no obligation estimates in people's homes, and uh, we also offer hard surfaces as well. I didn't know that. Is that relatively new in terms of the hard surfaces? It is. It is new. It is newer. We've been doing the last couple of years, and uh, we sell an engineered hardwood as well as luxury vinyl, tile, and plank. It's a beautiful showroom here. We encourage everybody to come visit the Tigrid location, but I understand you also have other locations. Where are those places? Uh, we have three locations. Uh, this is, we consider this kind of our, our showroom, our flagship location here in Tigrid. We have a cleaning plant uh, on Southeast Division Street on 15th and Division in Portland. And then we also have a cleaning plant in Eugene as well. So, Kevin, thank you so much for joining us today and for inviting us to this beautiful Atiyah Brothers showroom. We want to wish you and everyone a happy Arab American Heritage Month. April is the time that we celebrate that. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Thanks for this opportunity. Mm -hmm.